In this session, we are going to talk about workspace and console APIs in Salesforce. So uh, firstly, we are going to discuss what are the different types of apps in Salesforce? What are uh, the different navigation styles of Lightning apps? That is the standard navigation and the console navigation. Uh, then we are going to discuss what are console apps in Salesforce. Then in the end, we are going to discuss the workspace and the Lightning console API in Salesforce. And uh, as we know, with Winter 24, Workspace API is now available in LWC. Uh, so we'll see a demo of that uh, in at the end of the session. So let's start. So starting with the basics, what are the different types of apps in Salesforce? Firstly, what is an app? An app is a collection of items uh, that work together to serve a particular fun uh, function. For example, for example, we have some standard apps such as sales, service, sales console, service console. So these are basically a collection of items. Items can be uh, object tabs, uh, lightning record page tabs, etc. Uh, to that serve a particular purpose. So uh, in lightning experience, we can go to the app manager to create an app. Uh, in the app manager, we have two different types of apps available. So that are lightning apps and connected apps. So here uh, we are going to talk about the workspace API. So we are more interested with the lightning apps. Uh, so within the lightning apps, we can have different navigation styles. Uh, we can have standard navigation and we have the console navigation. So if, if I talk, uh, if I take example of the standard apps, the sales uh, app is a standard navigation app while the sales console app is the console navigation app. In the console navigation, we'll have different tabs while in the standard navigation we won't we won't have tabs but we'll and we'll have at the top we'll have different items uh, shown at the top so now let's go to salesforce org and create a new console navigation app so i'll go to my org i'll click on setup i need to go search for app manager so uh, this this is the winter 24 uh, pre org release app so click on new lightning app Type the app name, uh, workspace API test, click on next. So you'll see we have two, na uh, two navigation styles here, standard navigation and the console navigation. So I'll so click on console navigation. I'll keep all the things as it, as it is. I'll uh, click on next. Do I need to add any utility items? So at the bottom, no. Uh, I can select the available items for this. I want accounts, I want contact, contacts, I want opportunities, that's all. I want these three items uh, to be shown and uh, these will be shown like this and uh, sh this should be available for the system administrator for now. Save and finish. So whatever items we selected at the creation of the app, that would be shown here. Uh, even after creation, you can add more items by clicking on edit and adding it. Uh, now let's discuss some concepts of uh, console APIs. So let me open an account record. So this tab, which you can see, this is called as a primary tab. A primary tab is the one it's just like you'll see, uh, let me open another tab. So now we have two separate primary tabs open. Now uh, we have another concept of a sub tab. So let me open another record. And now you can see within this tab, we have another ta tab. So this would be called as the sub tab and this would be called as the primary tab. So within the primary tab, we can have as many sub tabs. So uh, with this tabs feature, it makes it really easy for sales and service agents uh, to increase their productivity. And uh, with different tabs open, they can, uh, click on any screen and uh, navigate to it faster. Now, let me show you the st standard Salesforce sales app and you can see the difference from there. So if I open the sales app at the top, I can see different items available. So if I click on, if I click on account and I click on this uh, record, so you can see it opens up, uh, but if I'll open this, uh, another user records it. So this opens up in the new screen. Uh, and it doesn't open up as a tab. So this is the difference. So if I need to go back, I'll click on the back button. So it's, but it's really time taking and uh, the UI is not that great. And the UI is much better if we have the tabs uh, for a sales or the service agent. 
so let me go to the ppt again uh so what are console apps in salesforce so they are the lightning apps with navigation style as console as we discussed salesforce consoles are console apps are a tab based workspace suited for fast paced work environment uh, the console is perfect for sales and service folks Sur support agents can use multiple application at once and keep the context of cases uh, as priorities change so now let's discuss what is workspace light or lightning console api in salesforce so the lightning console javascript api gives us the programmatic programmatic access to lightning console apps so you can fully integrate lightning console app with aura components and lwcs while extending them to meet the business needs so with the uh, workspace api or the lightning console api we can uh, some of the functions are closing the tab, uh, open tab, open sub tab, refresh tab, and many more, the, many more things, uh, many more other functions. So before winter 24, these APIs were only available in force. And uh, uh, with winter 24 release, workspace API is now available in LWC. So we need to um, import, uh, to use the workspace API in LWC, we need to import the platform workspace API module uh, to access the workspace API methods. Uh, another, a note uh, here is Lightning Web Security must be enabled in Salesforce org because Lightning Locker doesn't support the Lightning Web, web Components Workspace API. Uh, so now let's go to our org and see a demo of the Workspace API. So uh, if I'll if I'll go to the console app, uh, let 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 me go let me open this tab and let me go to the console app. So I've opened an account record and I've created a Lightning Web Component here and I've given it four buttons. Uh, first is to close the tab. Second is to open a new primary tab. Uh, third is to open a sub tab and fourth is to open, fourth is to refresh the tab. And if I'll go to the VS Code, I'll show you this is the UI and these are the methods. So I've uh, imported those from the platform workspace API and uh, I'm using uh, th these functions here. So for example, uh, firstly, let me, sh let me show you, uh, you the demo of it. So for example, if I need to close this current tab, I'll click here. So it closes that tab, right? Now, if I want to open a new primary tab, so if I go back to the LWC, so this opens up this, uh, it, this button calls up this method. And within this method, we are passing this dot record ID, which we are getting it from the at the rate API. So I want to open this uh, uh, account record in a new primary tab. So I'll click on this and boom, this account record has been opened up in a new primary tab. Uh, the third function is open new sub tab. Now, um, if I'll go to this uh, method in the LWC, on the open sub tab, I have hard coded this opportunity ID. I want to open it as a sub tab, not as a primary tab. So if I'll click on this, this boom this opens a new opens up this uh, new opportunity records as a sub tab and now uh, another uh, function is, is to refresh the tab let me duplicate it i'll show you how this is useful so now i have duplicated the tab and uh, let's say some other user is working on the same account record and he changes the rating here from warm to hot right uh, now i'll go back i can see the rating here is still warm because uh, this tab hasn't been refreshed so what i can do is i can click here refresh tab and boom the records have been refreshed the related list data has been refreshed and the uh, detail page uh, values have been refreshed so uh, these were the four test methods which we we can use uh, from the lightning workspace api i'll again go back to the code so you need to import this, uh, these from the platform workspace API. Uh, let me, let us go by method to method. So in the handle close, uh, we first get the tab ID. So to close that tab, we need to find the tab ID, right? So we, we can find the tab ID using the get focus tab, uh, info. So this returns a promise. Uh, once it returns a promise, then, uh, it returns the tab info as well. That is the tab ID. Then we close uh, we call the close tab method and we provide the tab id to it so we have imported the close tab from top similarly if i need to open the 
new tab as a primary uh, new window as a primary tab what i need to do is i can either provide the record id or i can provide the uh, url uh, i can give it a label the tab label so you can see global media is the tab label you can give it any other value and in the open sub tab id i need to provide the parent tab id here so this parent tab id i'm getting it from here uh, i'm uh, calling the enclosing tab id this enclosing tab id returns the primary tab id uh, the focus primary tab id and i'm i need to provide the primary tab id here because sub tab opens uh, after uh, opens next to the primary tab so uh, we need to provide the primary tab id here and uh, you the additional parameters are you can either provide the record id or the url you can put focus is equals to true whether the new tab opens up uh, so it should be focused or not so these parameters you can provide and in the refresh you need to firstly get the focus tab id here once you get the tab id you need to call the refresh tab yes so this was just a basic demo of the platform workspace api so that's all for today's session and uh, uh, thanks everyone for watching and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future thanks